All right, I just uh, got to my yard. Today I'm going to replace <clears throat> airbag. This front airbag is leaking. For that purpose, I disconnected uh, airbag level and picked up airbag a little bit because when they down, that uh, you know hole is inside the layer and it's not leaking so just to find out where it's leaking exactly i had to pick up airbag to let the hole to be discovered i have a little leak let's see over here my bad you can see but let me get under the truck and show you exactly so I just got under my truck and that little scratch you see it's on the side of the airbag and you know I hear the air leaking the scratch is not really big but in the meanwhile it may just explode after a while I don't know if you can um, just you know put a patch around it but it's not gonna work because when your airbag drop down uh, that patch will be you know uh, it will disconnect after a while so uh, I'm not gonna repair anything I will just replace airbag I'm not sure how it happened I mean that scratch maybe something you know got inside maybe stone fly from the under the wheel or something you know just dropped from the top down i don't know other airbags uh, looks better but still we'll have to replace them later we'll see how we're gonna replace it i think it will be easy so now we need to disconnect all hoses to let air um, go out from airbags. Just to make that process faster, you can disconnect another one. And make sure you turn off your truck so your compressor won't work. So right now all airbags are down and we can easily remove our airbag. We're going to replace this uh, I'm open this uh, I'm, I mean unscrew this uh, fitting and side bolts by the way they are painted so be carefully when you open uh, when you unscrew these nuts because it may break your stud for that purpose you can use the you know paint thinner or W40 to easily disconnect um, you know clean up threads from paint So right now all our airbags is down. As I said, you need to disconnect uh, these two bolts. And also be very careful guys, uh, set your, I forgot to say, set your truck on um, on a parking brake and maybe put something underneath your uh, wheels so your truck won't move your wheels will be locked up safety first guys guys so now i'm disconnecting um uh, i disconnected this hose you see that this is air supply <clears throat> and uh, i'm just uh, opening these nuts by the way they use a metric so if any of, uh, of you guys decide to clean up um, thread with a special tool you need to consider that uh, this is a not in a American size style this is a metric so you will need a metric 
thread cleaner if you don't have it just take a metallic brush use the paint thinner and you know wipe off all the paints around clean it with a brush and spray it with the w40 just to make your you know process easier for you if these knots are still good you can use it you can reuse it uh, this is not just a knot this is it called uh, an, um, lock knot because inside it has a nylon insert which keeps your um, knot tightened all the time so you don't need to use any you know lock washers or lock, regular washers you just have two knots so now I'm connecting uh, back all airlines on both a rear airbags and I'm going to connect I'm going to connect this airbag level and turn on my truck to let the compressor work and you know let air pump to let the airbags open uh, pick up oh by the way I on the bottom on the very bottom of your airbag you have another lock nut that nut is bigger than previous <coughs> excuse me but um, this nut most of the of the time can give you trouble because since it located on the bottom you constantly have a uh, water and you know in winter where the salt going in there so it might give you a trouble problem while you you know taking that nut off your start might break also but you know you can also you uh, buy when you buy airbag from uh, the dealership you also can ask for the rear uh, bottom start replacement it won't cost a lot it may be up to ten dollars you will get a new stud part so we just uh, took off airbag it looks pretty okay uh, but you know it's not okay actually so I, I just disconnected this fitting it wasn't too bad it wasn't uh, hard to remove it so I'm going to uh, use this uh, thread locker you see the white uh, white uh, piece you just you know roll it around the thread plumbers usually use uh, that thing a lot or you can use a thread locker like lock Loctite or something so we just uh, put that air back the new air back back we insert the old insert uh, old uh, fitting which is still okay now I'm going to um, connect uh, the airbag level to let the airbag to pump and you know pick up and everything should be fine now so guys you see it's not very hard to replace airbag uh, if you do it on uh, at the shop on a truck stop it might cost you like five hundred dollars or so including airbag of course uh, one of my friends replaced uh, four airbags and it cost him uh, about four hundred dollars for each airbag including airbag itself including uh, labor so pay he paid about twelve or thirteen hundred dollars just you know watch YouTube guys um, make it yourself and save your money cheers